guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a call to action button to your Loom videos. If you want to deliver any kind of video content with Loom, you can add this button afterwards or during your videos to direct people where you need them to go. This would be perfect for tutorial videos, personal messages, webinars, courses, or any video where you need a call to action button. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that I've put links to resources in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. And if you find my content helpful, please like and subscribe so I can keep making content for you. Okay, so I've logged into my Loom account and I use the paid version just because it gives you so many more options. But to add the button to the video, I'm just going to come into this video here. This is a video that I've already recorded. Then I'm going to come over to the right hand side and you'll see the button edit. Once you click on edit, you will come down the bottom and you'll see add link. When you click on that, you've got so many options. So the first one is obviously entering the right URL. So I'm just going to add in one just for the demo purposes. And you can make the button text whatever you like. Like say, for example, it's a, you, you're, you're doing a download or you're sending them to another website. You could do anything like that, like download now or click here, something like that. Now the button location means that it's going to show on the left, the right, the top left or the top right. Unfortunately, you can't drag this button around the screen. Those are the only places that it can go. However, the cool thing about this button is you can customize it as well. So you can choose all your brand colors and everything like that. So you can pick whatever matches. So you can do the background color and you can also do the font color as well. You can also change the button to be rounded or square or slightly rounded. So whatever is suiting your brand. Now this button here or this option here only show at the end of the video. It means that the person will have to watch the entire video and then the call to action will appear. So that's really good if you're doing like sales or courses or anything like that where you need to lead them to the end button. So if I click that, it will only show at the end of the video. Then you need to hit save and you'll be able to see your button on your video. Now for the demo purposes, I've just changed the button back to showing um, all the time in the video, just so you can really clearly see it. But the best way to test it to make sure that it works is to open your browser in an incognito window. So to do that on a Mac, it's actually Command Shift N. Um, I'm just gonna do it on here just for demo purposes. But if you open it without logging into Loom, it just means that you're viewing it as the client. So this is what it would typically look like. And you can see that that download button link is there. And if I clicked on it, it would go to the link that I chose, which was Facebook. And that is how you add a call to action button to your Loom videos. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed my content today, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.